What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another video. We're piling out the videos at the moment and we've just cleared the flexible showdown. Now, a lot of people ask me about this. I have a dedicated video on it. You literally just need to complete the event, get your reward and also get whichever player, whichever level that you choose to have, you will be able to get your player there. Once that's complete, it's complete. You can't go back into it. If you go back into it here, you will not be able to get a second reward or a second or third player. You will just be able to get 100 XP or sorry, 100 GP from here. But that's not what this video is about. I already have a dedicated video on that. What this video is about is the best players to sign, right? And I'll have a load of videos coming over the next few days. This is going to be about a video about the best players to sign for free. All the free players that you can essentially get, right? Because we do have a couple of newbies. Now, I've done dedicated and I will be releasing dedicated uh, training guides, player reviews for all of the packs, including the players that are in the shop because they've added players to the point store. They've also added the Arsenal pack um, that we saw there. So I'm going to claim this and train up Ben White because I definitely think he's the best player that you could get for the pack here. Ben White is definitely a beast. He goes to 97 overall, he's got a showtime skill, he's 100% for free, takes 10 minutes. Literally, you can just sim the game, pass the ball around at the back or whatever, right? But it's also for the other players that are here as well, because we do have denominating contracts. So we're going to start with those. Uh, now also, look, a free player is a free player. If you spin one of these and you actually get Baggio or Del Piero or Tati, brilliant. That pl player becomes a free player where it's like, okay, now, you know, no one competes with these. But it's also a 1 in 150 chance of whether or not you're going to get them. So that is obviously going to come into it, okay? So they're not really free players. The players we're going to focus on here are going to be the ones that you can actively choose to get, including the nominating contract and these this J-League player of the month, right? This Arsenal standard here, you will get all four of those players, but they're just a standard GP, so they're not worth talking about. We're going to start with this and my picks for these. As I said, I will have videos out on training, guys. You can already see we've bought two. So spoiler alert, Kimmich and Daily Blind are definitely worth copping here or capping here. Lukaku, Suarez, Lukaku is definitely a miss in my opinion. Xhaka, there's too many good CMFs in the game. He's not worth it in my opinion. Pepe, I have other versions of Pepe. If you don't have a version of Pepe, lads, he plays way above his stats. 21 levels, but his aggression is absolutely beastly for a destroyer. Really do recommend having a version of Pepe in. If anything but for the Bants, 40 years old Pepe still dominating. Still got a fine head of hair in this picture here as well. Absolutely beasting on the pitch very impressed with him he can go to 90 plus jumping physical contact and all his defensive capabilities apart from tackling will be 90 plus if you go that way or else speed can go 75 acceleration can go 70 there's a lot to like about this card so he gets a thumbs up Xhaka I'm a bit torn he's got 33 levels which is really nice aggression can go to 90 but his speed acceleration and his dribbling is a bit of a pity for an orchestrator. Plus the fact he doesn't have blocker. He doesn't have interception. There's a lot to train up with this card. He's not the finished article like Pepe. So for me, that's kind of a hit and miss. Kimmich is definitely worth spinning. So my two recommendations from this are Kimmich and Pepe with the four, five star. And then Daily Blind with the four star. If you've got a lot of four star nominating contracts, I think Blind is a, is a, is a no brainer. We'll keep it short and sweet. Kimmich is definitely the pick of the pack here for the nominating contract. And I'll show you how I train him up in a second. The J-League players, so these are always a bit interesting, they've got a lot of player skills sometimes, there isn't anybody in here as a 5 star, so I think that if you have got a lot of 4 stars, like I do, I have 3 there left, um, you can't see with my face cam here, but I do have 3 4 stars left there, I do feel like none of these players are going to be worth it, especially if you release them, they're the finished article, but they don't really have any amazing stats, so unless you're looking to build a dedicated position or build up a team that's full of J-League players, I would probably skip this altogether because there's just so much else on offer, right? The rest of the players here are for coins. They're not free, but you could get lucky and get a freebie here with your free spins. That's fine. I mean, if we spin this, as I said already, we do end up getting somebody, then that's great. But if we don't, then, you know, what we did, we just wasted two spins. It doesn't really make a difference. If we do end up spinning again, we're just decreasing our chances because we've left players in the box, right? But there's also the free players in the eFootball Point store, right? Now, I'm going to say that I would definitely recommend uh, Modric. I think just having Modric as a player is always a good alternative if you're looking for something different. Trips and Oli's are very good players as well, but you have a few days to get them. To be honest with you, lads, to make this as simple as possible, I would buy all of these players. If for it anything, and anything at all, you're just going to end up releasing them. They're both three star players. The three of them are all three star, or three, or five star players. You can literally just sign them. E-Football points have zero value, and I don't think that they'll continue this on. 
So you might as well just buy all of these. I would definitely recommend buy the three of these players. You don't even need to train them up. You can just have them and release them. You can train them up and see how they go. You can train them with an XP, um, you know, a little glitch video that I have done as well. It's really, really easy to train up these. It takes you probably about two or three hours to max out a player if you've got the time to do so. But Modric is definitely the player I would really kind of recommend there, right? Definitely. Now, as for the rest of them, I've already mentioned it, but we have done and cleared the eFootball Festival. There's three players on offer, Jorginho, Havertz, and Ben White. I went for Ben White. I'm going to show you why, because I'm going to train him up in a second. Any of these are going to be decent. They're 100% free. Take you 10 minutes to get a free Showtime player. What's not to like about it, in fairness, right? But I do feel that... <sighs> There is, there is kind of a concern, I think, with a lot of the cards here now, when the free cards, a lot of them are kind of covering similar ground, right? So, for example, if you've got a free spin at um, these or you've got a free nominating contract, it is a little bit more difficult to recommend players because the eFootball point stores, there's nothing else to spend the eFootball points on, so it becomes a little bit easier. But Ben White definitely kind of, I would say, like, goes above and beyond that, right? Even if we wanted to put him as a right back, very, very solid. These are the players that we got. Kimmich trained up with his level in here. This is who I recommend. 0259-1317. That's his build. And then we also have Daily Blind with his stats there. You can pause the video here if you want. And of course, 00245212. That's his build. And then of course, we have Luka Modric as well. 80 speed, 85 acceleration, 98 balance, 95 ball control, 85 dribbling, 90 low pass, or 90 lofted pass, 91 low pass. And of course, 93 type possession with his build here. Very, very quickly. 3, 4, 5, 12, 12, 0, 3. Very nice. And then for Ben White to round it off, right? I feel like straight off the rip is an attack and full back. I definitely think that Ben White, if you can give him blocker, and it's a big if because blocker's hard to come by or your legacy transferred in. He's a phenomenal player, that's genuinely. Look what he trains up to. Just like, look, he's going to take a bit of XP. You can do the, you can do obviously the XP uh, trick I have videos on that. If you guys want to check that out, you can. But this is a phenomenal card. It really is a phenomenal card. And he also has a Showtime skill, which is Edge Crossing. So if you are playing him CB, I think you are losing out on that. But if you are playing him as this position, I would try and get him a position trainer for right back and right midfield to be able to go with that. But he's 26 levels. He starts off with 78 defensive awareness and tackling and 79 speed with 87 stamina, which is huge. Lofted pass is massive as well, so you can max that out very effectively. Now, usually with attacking, if attacking right backs, I don't really worry too much about his defending, but I'm actually going to pop on a little bit to his defending here just to make him a little bit more all-rounder, right? So once we get those stats in, don't worry, I'll show you the build at the end. I'll show you the final build at the end, right? Once we have this here, we're going to have 87 speed, 80 acceleration, 82 kicking power, 96 stamina, 86 defensive awareness, 86 tackling, 83 aggression, and 83 defensive engagement. Very solid, right? Very solid. But I want to push that up a little bit more. So defensively, because he is lacking a little bit, I probably want to get his aggression up as an attack and attack and right back. I want to cover the gaps and have that at 85 each minimum. That opens it up to give you 90 defensive awareness and tackling, but it is very dependent on where you're going to be playing him. He goes to 99 overall within this system here, 97 as a base stat, but I genuinely think this is the build for him, man. I know that you can get him as this if you're playing as a CB, and you can try him a little bit more defensive, but I definitely think having this kind of right back as an attacking fullback with huge lofted pass, tight possession at 75, dribbling, ball control, all really, really nice, huge stamina getting up and down the wings, I think that's just kind of wasted for him when he's playing as a CB. Especially that you have to give him blocker. You don't need to do that. But I definitely recommend this guy above any of them. Havertz, Jorginho, Modric, Kimmich, they're the rest. So for me to round this guy out here, I will probably give him a little bit more acceleration. Just a little bit of a touch there. And I would probably give him maybe one more defending. Because I want to have him as a kind of an alternative link um, to the rest of them. One into dribbling is going to give me 75 into the dribbling there. Or into the tight possession. I think that's the build that we'd go with. 90 defensive awareness. 90 tackling. Uh, 100 overall right back. 85 speed. 82 acceleration. And even though I think he's a bit wasted at CB. Because of his pure speed and stamina. And the phenomenal uh, skill that he has. The showtime edge crossing. I do think this is a phenomenal attack and right back. That can also play there right here as well. And also with Ben White, which I haven't seen anybody really talking about with Ben White. 
Ben White can go as a right midfielder, which I think opens up a lot of sub tactics and stuff, right? So for example, if you were able to get right midfielder on him, and obviously it's going to take a little bit of trial and tribulation here, but we get it in two spins. Now you have him as a right midfielder that you can push him right up here as a right midfielder. And I just think it opens up this card again to be a really, really good hybrid defensive right midfielder with huge stamina, huge speed, excellent delivery of the ball and a showtime skill. So they're the cards that I recommend, Kimmich, Modric and Ben White and Daily Blind if you've got the four star. Let me know if you agree or disagree. I'll be back very soon. Peace.